Welcome to the Just Innovate podcast. I know it's been a long time coming, but right now we're back, more focused, we're better. Yeah. And the last time I had one presenter by my side, but now I'm blessed to have two pretty presenters by my side. And I'll let them do the honors, so introduce yourself. Hello everyone, I'm Christiana. Christiana, oh my. <laughs> Hi, I'm Essie. Okay, so I feel like the central pilot with my winged man, or do I say winged man, around me. Okay, so basically, like I said, we're back with the Just Innovate podcast. It's been a long time, but definitely this time around, uh, more information, more sauce, more juice, you know. Yeah. Basically, more flavor. <laughs> more flavor as well. All right, so um, around the hub, we've had so many activities over uh, within 2023. Yeah. Activities, initiatives, programs, starting with... Uh, the Tet Fair, uh, we've also had iFair and uh, R5, R5, R5 that stands for the Research for Impact Initiative. Alright, so let's um, just um, talk about the high points of some of these programs, starting with I- I- Tet Fair. Alright, let's talk about Tet Fair. Tet Fair, okay. Tet Fair, Tet Fund Alliance for Innovative Research, it's an initiative of Tet Fund and Innovate Hub, where we bring lecturers and innovators, researchers, technologists from the academia and they have these ideas that they bring to life. Now, it's not just about bringing their ideas to life. These ideas actually have to solve a problem in society. Yes. You know, about the days where they just do carry out research in the lab and all of that and then write their um, research papers, mm-hmm. yeah. publish, and then publish they get promoted. Publish or perish. You know? publish or perish. <laughs> yeah. I heard that recently. <laughs> you know, and they get promoted and then yeah. those that million... sounds very, uh, it sounds very, very dark. <laughs> publish or perish. <laughs> do or die. But now, just the switch from publish or perish to yeah. publish and innovate, you know, yeah. create. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's a very, very sensible paradigm shift, yes. especially given the fact that the economy we face today, you know, we need innovation, innovative solutions to take the nation forward. Yeah. Yes. All right, so just staying on tech fair. You know, we have areas of focus, so can you tell us about the areas of focus? Well, we have some areas of focus that we're focusing on food, food and security. Food security. Um, focus on ed- tech. Yeah, okay. Clean um, energy. Clean energy. Yeah. Circular economy. Circular economy. Yeah. So there's a lot. Basically, it's a holistic approach towards um, societal development, where we have all these sectors that are fundamental to the growth of every given society. Yeah. You know, being merged so that people come with um, some of the novel ideas, yeah. you know, and they take these ideas to the next level. Yeah. So um, for Tetsfa, we have um, different stages and phases, starting with the first bootcamp that culminated to the opening event, yeah. and after that. We also had uh, the market validation. Right, so, yeah. uh, can you just tell us about the market validation for a moment? Okay, the market validation is where they um, they test their ideas in the market to know. Okay, do the market really need this uh, this solution that I'm bringing forward? Yeah. Okay, I'm saying this is going to solve this. This is it actually solving the problem, or am I just you know feeling that this is a problem in this aspect? So, you take it back to the market to be sure that okay, this product, this so idea, important. this um, novel, whatever it is, this thing that I have, can okay. it solve this particular problem? So you go and check, and you know to know how well, how well, yeah, how it well, yeah, in how well will it thrive in the market? Too. Yeah, so I think it, and, and it's very important because you can't just be bringing an idea to life or a solution and you then the, yeah, there is no yeah. market for it. You know, yeah. that's you going to run at the loss yeah, eventually. Exactly, too. exactly. I mean, so I think you know, like I always make, I always make um, a reference to imagine um, selling candy, for instance, now okay. and. Maybe your target audience, maybe it's a group of diabetics. I mean, it doesn't add up. Yeah, right? it's going to buy. Exactly. So you, you really need to know your um, target audience. Yes, yes. That's true. So that's what will take you to refining your um, innovation to so the next phase, yes. which was the prototype development bootcamp, right? Yeah, yes. So yes. at this um, bootcamp, what, what happened? at the prototype development with Tom? Uh, that is when uh, researchers, lecturers from different Nigerian academia come together to turn their ideas into functional prototypes. They get to um, make things, write down their ideas and then turn them into functional prototypes, yeah. things that you can... Yeah. You proof of concepts. Proof of concepts, yes. Yeah. Things that actually, you can actually put out there that yeah, you're actually bringing your ideas into life, turning them into solutions. So it's basically um, transcending from yeah. uh, the market validation, 
I mean, you're finding this from the market, market validation, validation and yeah. transferring them into the development of that prototype. Yes. I remember after that, we also have the advanced prototype, prototype development we with yeah. where the findings and the refinements yeah. happen. I mean, it's basically taking a component of uh, your prototype yeah. and making it more advanced, more user friendly, yeah. and more yeah. accessible. Yeah, yeah. Right? after bringing them from the market, after validating them from market, and yeah. yeah. So basically, I'm um, still on Tetra. I know we've stayed around on Tetra. Yeah, yes. yeah, we're just trying to think about the potential of this initiative in terms of societal development. Because something that has to do with solution provision through innovation, like what's, what's the worth of this initiative in today's Nigerian society? Okay, I think it's worth a whole lot because now in Nigeria we import more than we export. We, we import a lot of things. So we bringing our own local solutions to our problem is going to help the nation. Like we are going to be exporting more if that um, solution actually like solves a lot of problem. Now, like we have one of the um, prototype that um, helps in agriculture. I think there's one that helps like tomato. Something yeah, about dry tomato. tomato and all dry of that. Okay, now we found we found a way to preserve tomato in a large large quantity. Mm -hmm. It's going to reduce and um, post harvest loss and exactly. all of that. So it's, this is going to help instead of all those things wasting and all of that. You can now preserve them long term, which means you can also export them. You can export them, and that's more revenue for just not just the the person that's involved, but for yeah. the. Um, the nation as well. So I feel it's, it's something that it's worth a lot because it's going to help not just the individual, but it's going to help the nation and that eventually. Okay, so um, do you have anything to say about that? I think the versatility of um, the initiative is what is remarkable for me because if on one hand you're, you're resolving um, things that have to do with the economy, yes. on the other hand you're, you're working on agriculture, on the other yes. hand you're working on security. security. And all these things are the components that okay. makes for a thriving society. Yeah, yeah. So just that holistic approach makes um, the tertiary education trust fund, um, yeah. Alliance for Innovative Research, unique and yeah. quite fabulous. Yeah. Alright, so moving on now, let's talk about IFE. Okay. Right. Okay. The Innovation Fellowship for Aspiring okay. Inventors and Researchers. Okay, so um, basically, IFE, uh, we're on IFE 3 now. Yeah, we've had um, two past IFEs that were so remarkable and successful. And we've had um, some of the fellows, you know, who have gone on to do amazing things yeah. the world over. I'm a Samsung <laughs> Oh, okay. What was I mean, that, that, that name that came to your mind? I mean, if I'm a food, I mean, do you want to be hungry? No, I, I mean, don't. never, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I said, do you want to be hungry? You sound like you want to be hungry. <laughs> I, I try to go on a hunger strike or no, something. No, definitely not. I don't want to be hungry. You like food? <laughs> I love food. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much ten. do you like food? 10. Wow, that's true. <laughs> so, All right, so IFAIR, um, then we've had um, the first, um, the Venture Creation Bootcamp. Yeah. Basically, can you just tell us what the Venture Creation Bootcamp is about? In the Venture Creation Bootcamp, I think most of the IFAIR participants that came to share already have like like a lot going on for them because you know they have their product and all so that venture creation is more like seeing what they have on the ground seeing what they have been able to put together how far they've gone and talking to them on how they can take that project to the next level so i think this is only not just be bringing everything up from the scratch it's more like refining what they already have on the ground okay into a business yeah into a business that can okay. actually you know move like blows on my knee, all of that. So I, I mean, that's I, I, I just like what you just said now because it, it only reinforces the belief that it's one thing to be an innovator, to be yes. an inventor, yes. but it's another thing to take that to the next level through it's business, business yeah. modeling, and all that. Yeah. Okay, so um, for Essie, for you, like what makes um, iFair unique? What makes it rich for you? Uh, for me, what makes iFair unique is its local content. And the and the fact that um, people can actually come together, people. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, basically, come together, ideas, create, innovate, right? Yes. Yeah. So for you, how about you? Um, I fair. What makes you unique? Okay, what makes I fair unique to me is that yeah, they are not just like they are not just coming together to, you know, um, how do I say it now? So just, this one, they're not just like, you know, bringing ideas to the table. They are refining the idea, they are turning it into a business. 
Because the reason why I like Hamasan to be because I follow him a lot online. I mean, like it's not just about saying, okay, this can do this, this can do this. It's after refining your idea, refining your prototype, you are saying, okay, this is a proof of concept. This thing can work. Turning it into a business. It's not easy to just have an idea, solve something, but the business has to work. It's not, being a, it's not about being a business for one year, two years, it's about sustainability too. Because I think during their like, pitching session, they talk about how they plan to make this business go on for two, three years, you know, like with sustainability, not just about starting something and then you pull out after something. Like time. a feasibility yeah, plan. Yeah, visibility plan and like, how long can you sustain this? If you start this, how long can you do this? So that, that turning it into a business that, you know, okay, that's, you know, these days, graduates, when they are done from school, everybody has this mindset of, I'm going to, everybody has this mindset of, I want to get a job, you know, I come out, I want to get a job that is, you know, that, that pays a lot, like, high paying job, that everybody's diving into tech and all, but, you know, if you can become an entrepreneur, turn that your idea into a business and sustain it, that's you becoming the next down the tail of, Nigeria, or you know, or the next, or the next or Samsung, you're or the next from a Samsung. That sounds like repetition already because you mentioned that a million times already. Don't worry, me. No, I just like the fact. I mean, that, you know, just to add what you just said. Now, okay. I think um, not just about the business aspect, but the opportunities that come with IFA as well. You know, just the availability of um, you being able to pitch to potential investors, investors who will yeah, be yeah, readily yeah. available. All right, so so let's talk about one of my personal favorites, R for I. <laughs> Well, before we do that, um, we'll be going on a break to tell you about how we do it, and which is basically how we do it. Okay. So, we'll be right back. Welcome to Innovate Hub, where imagination takes flight and technological marvels come to life. Hi, I'm Wale Balogun, an expert in the dynamic fields of IoT and embedded systems. This is how we do it. Our journey begins here amidst the brilliant mind and cutting edge technology that force innovation. This is where imagination meet reality, where dreams are transformed into tangible solutions that shape the world of tomorrow. This is a smart uh, zero hunger irrigating system here. It's meant for automation to irrigate the system, if especially the farm, to also for pesticide also, that's the bio AI pesticide. Also, you can monitor the device via IoT. Um, this is a iDetect23. That is a, a tracking device that can guide the drivers, and then it will tell the driver if he's overspeeding or not. And then it's IoT based. You can monitor the device via AWS secured platform. This is Beth, and uh, it's an IoT based device here for tracking uh, a bus, commercial bus. And also you, with this platform here, it helps the user, the customer, especially the passenger, to be at the safer side. If there's any problem along the routes or along the roadside, or the driver is not really complying with the rules and regulations of the road, it can easily send a distress call to the authority and also to uh, whoever is in charge of the vehicle. And it's IoT based and it's a real-time operating system here. Innovate Hub has been more than just a workspace for me. It has been the catalyst that has nurtured my ideas, pushing them to new heights of innovation. This place breathes inspiration with an ambience that sparks creativity and fuels my passion for IoT and embedded systems. One of the most incredible aspects of Innovate Hub is the collaboration and the opportunity to work alongside brilliant minds. Here, I am surrounded by like-minded individuals who share the same drive for innovation it's an environment where ideas are freely exchanged, where challenges are tackled collectively, and where innovation thrives.
right, welcome back to the Just Innovate uh, podcast. And um, I'm Avalanche, and I'm here with uh, Christiana and SA. Okay, so we're just back from the how we do it, and it's remarkable what um, you know experts here at Innovate Hub do. Like uh, they do remarkable things, and that video you just watched now is proof of these remarkable things that they do. All right, so just back to R for I, um, the research for impact. We've had about eight editions this year alone. I mean, I mean, and um, what makes R for I unique and special for me is the fact that all these things are done within ten days, 10, days. 10 11 days, and yeah. you're coming up with. Um, prototypes of your innovation. Uh, it's amazing um, what accelerated innovation can achieve. Yeah. Right? So just tell us um, about IFA. No, about, rather, I research. I don't know how much you like IFA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. About research for impact. Yeah. The research for impact is an initiative of Tech Fund and in collaboration with Innovate Hub. This also brings um, academics from across different um, tertiary institutions in Nigeria technologies, innovators, bring them together by nominating them with their investors and all of that, where in the space of 10 days, imagine, 10 days, they are able to come up with real life solution. Like, it's not as if you say, we want to do this, like real life solutions. No, by No, word of mouth, you know, real life solutions, they're actually bringing something to the table. They are like, yes, this is what we Actually, have done you're, you're, quite, you're quite quiet today. <laughs> are you under the weather or you have something to say perhaps? Um, R4I, um, there's a research for impacts initiative, is, is like a pro program, um, it's an initiative, she just said, like yeah, she yeah. said, um, from TED Fund in collaboration with Innovate Hub. It's, yeah. it's um, encompasses of, um, of, of TED Fund bringing members of the academia, members of the academia together to trans transform the ideas into solutions through innovation. and through innovations. Yeah. Okay, all right, so let's just talk about um, some of the projects that. I mean, let's focus on R for I twelve, which just concluded last week. Okay. All right. So we had um, um, these participants were divided into five teams. Yeah. We had Team Zero Hunger. Yeah. We had um, Team Decent Work and Economic Growth. Yeah. Uh, team we also had Team Good Health and Wellbeing. Yeah. Infrastructure. Innovation and um, the, the team with three eyes, like I like to call them. <laughs> Okay, I feel like um, all these teams at r i they've been able to come up with these remarkable um, innovations, yeah. which we await to see how far they'll take, you know, towards going to the market. Yeah. All right, so I, basically that's um, r i in a nutshell. I mean, different batches, different solutions as well. To the next point of the agenda, and this is an open question to everyone here, all right? So, um, how does it feel like working at Innovate Hub? And uh, let's start with essay, probably because we were the same. Yeah, much of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I would say uh, I've had the privilege of meeting brilliant minds, having to um, be immersed in um, intellectual in, minds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> having to be immersed in an environment that helps in fostering creativity and um, collaboration, teamwork, and having to meet people that want to turn the ideas and bring them to life, trying to turn the ideas into tangible solutions and make really great impact in the society or in our country, Nigeria. Okay, wonderfully said. Okay, so let's have you turn. Okay, working in a little how I say it. I mean, from the environment to the people, it's just, it's just a lot because, I mean, the space itself gives you that atmosphere you need to actually be creative. Be because creative, most of us yeah. are creative, you know. Absolutely. You have to look for a creative. If anyone you're doing one thing all over and all over again, yeah. you have to look for creative ways to come up with what you do. You know, yeah. you can't keep doing something one way and then. So that alone, I think, and the space gives that atmosphere for you to pull out from your creativity. When I say bank, you know, pull out from your. Then meeting amazing people, and we are all yeah. young. I mean. Yeah, you're no. <laughs> almost, almost, I'm almost 50 right okay. now. So it gives you Golden that, jubilee. you know, you get to meet people, young people that, yeah. you know, we are using our skill, we are using our creativity to actually contribute to the innovation space. Yeah. You know, helping um, these academics that come in to transform their ideas into solutions. And that's we contributing on the go like in our own like way to scale. the country, you know, on yeah. a global scale. Using our skills, using what we can do with our hands and our yeah. brains to contribute. Sure. So that's a good and, and then teamwork. You know, being in a team is something that is really not 
not easy. I mean, everybody likes to say I'm a team player, I'm a it's team player, easy. but we know, <laughs> we know that there is sometimes. Hello, team. <laughs> team and I, you know. Sometimes you agree to disagree, but yeah. again, we have this common goal of trying to make this thing work, you know, push yeah. innovation yeah. out there, let people yeah. know that, okay, we can do things here in Nigeria that yeah. can actually, like, work in the market, you know, that can actually skyrocket in the market, and then people will be interested in that. So I think yeah. that alone about this place is just, you know, I mean... You know, just, it's quite interesting you mentioned that, because um, I just remember during the um, opening event for Tet Fair, interviewing um, on the red carpet, one of okay. the participants, and she okay. said she schooled her bro. Oh, okay. And as a matter of fact, I think the, the same person, um, she has like a fellowship right now in the UK. Okay. So like, um, just within that period, like, there was something she said that stood out for me. She said she has been to so many countries and um, she had no idea that just within this space, space there are lots of things that happen. Exactly. You know what they say about Sokoto and Shokoto yeah. and, <laughs> and I'm brown, brown, but that's a joke yeah, by the way. So, anyway, so, <laughs> all right, so it, it just um, reinforced the belief I have yes, here. Yeah. You know, working with like-minded individuals, you know, yeah. people of different skill sets skills, as well. different. Yeah. Exactly, diverse. but just the unison of purpose, yeah. like everybody's working towards. Yeah, uh, yeah. Exactly, so yeah. it just reinforces belief in reinforces teamwork so yeah for me that's basically and the having, highlight sorry and having to do with the diversity having to work with people people with um, different age age gaps um from young to old meeting new people trying to create something, something bring yeah, something to, to life, life yeah. so it's 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 really it's really impactful and for me it has been positive for me so all right, with that, we've come to the end of this episode of the Just Innovate podcast. And honestly, it's been so good to be back. Yeah. And definitely, we pledge more consistency this time around. True. Yeah, so definitely, we're going to be around next week. So from I, yours truly, Avalanche. And, and SA. And Christiana. See you next week for and more interesting content. And always remember to... You can like, share, and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye. Bye.